All right, I'm heading out to a call in Rocky Point this morning. Uh, no heat, electric furnace. So we'll see if we have a sequencer problem. They said nothing's coming on, so we'll see what's up. I have another call after that. I don't know if I'll be able to film it, though. It's sort of a troubleshooting, a very interesting uh, call. Not really no heat, it's just a compressor is putting out an abnormally high discharge pressure. Uh, suction pressure is fine. No overcharge, no problem with the indoor fan motor, no problem with an occluded filter or coil. So I'm just trying to figure out in heating mode why it's doing this. So uh, it's really interesting, but uh, I'm at a loss so far. So I'm doing a little bit more investigating today and see if I can figure it out. We've got our inner therm electric furnace, model FEH 015H, 15KW. And we're going to troubleshoot that. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on at the thermostat and see what happens. Nothing's happening, I'm assuming, because I don't hear nothing. Okay. No, nothing happened. No blower. Nothing else. I'm going to go check and make sure the breaker's on, and then we'll open it up. A little pull-out disconnect here from the furnace. But there's another one down here, and that one ain't budging. Check this out. I'm a pretty big guy and that thing ain't going nowhere. All right, through an ungodly effort, I got the pull-out disconnect off. And it's not melted or anything like that. It was just jammed in there. But these fuses look a little rough, so I'm gonna check each one of these fuses. Go to each side. That one's good, it says 0.5 ohms. That one looks kind of rough, but it's still good. Oh, all the fuses are good. All of them read 0 0.5, 0 0.4 ohms. So I'm going to pull the blower out a little bit just to take a look at the heat strips. I don't see anything wrong. The breaker's off. So I mean the breaker might have been off the whole time. and <laughs> No one just turned it on and started the heat. So I'm going to pull the blower out, take a quick peek at the heat strips and make sure they look okay. And then we'll uh, turn it on and see what happens. I did check and see if there's any grounds in there and there was no grounds with the mega ohm meter. So that's uh, a good thing. Okay, time. I slid the blower out right here. What is this? There's two screws in the front of the blower. And they anchor in right here. And the blower just slides right out. And you can see down there the heat strips. They actually look really good. I don't see anything, you know, falling on them besides that one little thing I just moved. Uh, so everything looks good. I'm going to check the limits on them, make sure they haven't tripped. Uh, they haven't tripped irreversibly, and then I'm going to start around right here. We have our safety limit switches. I'm going to check each one of them by uh, checking ohms across them. It should be the same as our fuses, something like 0.5, 0 0.4. It might be a little higher in this weather. So let's, let's see. Okay. First one is 0.4. That one's good. Now the bottom, because this is a stack. We got 0 0.3, 0 0.4. That's good. We go to the top. 0.4. So they're all good. Yeah, no problem there. So I don't see any problem with this. Hopefully it's just the breaker was off. I see this wire. I'll show you guys. It has a little bit of dis discoloration. A little loose. Turn that up.
a little bit, not too bad. It's the other one up here that's really discolored the most, like it's had a problem at one point or another, gotten a little hot. We'll have to see. Up at the top here we have the transformer and these are the sequencer relays. There's two sets here, a stack and a single because it's 15 kW. And of course there's our fuses and our incoming power. So let me turn this thing on and see how it looks. Take some amperage readings and make sure we're not over amping and uh, drawing too much power. Alright, I have both my uh, amp clamps set up to measure two of the three circuits and I'll just switch one to measure the third circuit. I'm going to turn the power on and that should go uh, immediately bring on a call for heat because it's jacked up to the max. <clears throat> Our first leg is running at 20 amps. You can smell the heat strips burning off the dust. Probably the first time they've been run so far this year. About 19.8 amps is what I would expect. I heard the click there. The other heat strips are now running. They're running at 21 amps and I will fall down a little bit. So we have two running and probably the third is running as well. I'm just not measuring that one right now. We'll go ahead and switch clamps to that one. And that one's also running at 19.8 amps. So all of them are running. We'll let them kick on and run for a little while and see if we can figure out what's going on. Uh, probably nothing. Alright, I've uh, cycled the thermostat so I'm making sure She's going to shut down, hear the click, should hear another click in a second, that's that stack sequencer. sequencer uh, bimetal strips cool after you see about 30-45 seconds it opens the circuit and then uh, both the heat strips and the blower shut down and that is all so this was a bad case of turned off breaker but since we're here we went ahead and checked through everything looks like it's good to go I don't have wire to replace that wire although it's not like it's going to blow up or anything I guess not that it's a severe issue, but uh, since I was here, I would have changed it. I don't have any uh, wire large enough to change it with, unless I cut up my compressor quick lug set, and I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I'll just come back by with some 12 and or some uh, number 10 and run new wires over there. But so it's working fine. I was just, I guess, I'm nitpicking a little bit, but that's it. On to the next one.